Service provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Let's see the concept now. See. So today we are going to see locators. Okay. Locators are very important. Locators helps us to identify the elements in a web page. So today we are going to see locators called ID, name, tag name, class name. Okay. If you have time, we'll see parcel link text, link text as well. So these things we are trying to cover today. Okay. Let's see. So I'll write the notes here. Locators. The concept today is locators. There are total eight locators in Selenium. They are as follows. ID name say tag name say then class name say then partial link text then partial link text then link text then we are going to see text path CSS selector. Okay. So our objective for next two to three days is okay completing these eight locators. So we have to see each and every locator with examples because these locators will help us for identifying the objects. Okay. Locators helps us locators helps us in identifying the objects okay so identification of objects is important in every automation tool not only in selenium identification is the highest priority because if you try to identify the objects if you try to identify the objects displayed in a html page okay your 80 percent of job is done right so most of the time you face difficulties in identification of objects so this topic is very important so for the next two to three days we are going to focus on how do we identify objects right okay so when I say objects in HTML page how what are the different kinds of objects you see let's see Okay, what are the different objects you see in a HTML page? Can anybody answer in the chat window? What are the different HTML, what are the different objects you see in a HTML page? Objects, text box, link, yes, text box, link, yes, okay, button, correct, link, yes, yes, fine. Okay, I'll write down here, see. Text box, radio button, check box, hyperlinks, list box, okay, you see text box, a radio button, check box, hyperlink, list box, button, text area and somebody said image also. So we'll say image. So these, these are the HTML objects. 
this we call as HTML objects. Suppose for example, as a user, as a user, if you want to enter the text in a text box, what I have to know first? First I have to identify the object, then I have to perform the action. So what I have to do now? First I have to identify the object. So how do you identify the object? You are identifying the object using these eight locators. Okay, again I'm saying, suppose for example, what is object to now see here? What is object to here? Okay, let me show you the HTML page. What is object to now here? Suppose for example, I feel everybody is able to see login page, right? Login page dot HTML. So what is object to now? I am going to enter the text here. Say my name is Sudhir. That is the object to know. Suppose if you want to do this using automation, what is the process? The process is first we have to identify this text box. We have to identify the text box. Then you have to perform the action. There are two things other. Identification of object, then then performing the action. Let's see. Let me write on the same thing notepad. Okay, identification of text box. If you want to identify the text box, I already told you there are eight ways, right? You can use any of the eight ways. Okay, not all eight are required. Like an out of eight, you can use few where you can identify this text box. Then, what is the action you have to perform? You have to enter the text. What action you perform? You have to enter the text. Text. Fine, this is for text box. Second, again, for example, object to for clicking on the button. So you see here, there's a button. So object to for clicking on the button. Let's see what is the object for the clicking on the button. So you're getting what I mean to say. So any object that is displayed in a HTML page, first you have to identify. So identification is mandatory. Then you perform an action for a text box, you enter the text. For a button, you click on a button. Okay. For a list box, you select a value from the list. Suppose you radio button, you click. Check box, you click. So those things you do. So what is object to know? We are going to identify the object. So identification of object is very important. For any object, first step is identify the object. So how do you identify the object? There are eight ways. There are eight ways for identifying the object. Okay, fine. So let me save this notepad. Save as. So, I'll start with the first one, ID. Okay, let's take one by one. Let's see with an example. So, what happens once I complete these eight locators, you'll be getting eight examples. So, which you can start practicing by your own. Okay, so I'm going to create a one-one program for every locator. So, please practice. Once I, share, once I complete the class, I'll say the programs. Please practice. Then you get doubts. We'll discuss in the next class. So like that we'll proceed further. Okay. So I'll show the procedure. How do we use the locator called ID? Which one is the first one in the list called ID? Okay. What we are going to see now? Okay. ID locator. This is the one of the mechanism to identify the objects. It can be a text box. It can be a radio button. It can be a check box. It can be a text area. It can be a uh, like you know list box I don't bother 
what I am going to say this is one way where we can identify the objects. Okay, using this locator we can identify any element, any object. There is no rule. Using ID we have to identify only text box. No, you can use ID to identify anything like radio button, text box, list box, anything you can identify that. Okay, so in order to, to make our job easy to using ID, so first what you have to do, first open the HTML page. This HTML example is already shared with everyone. If anybody miss, let me know. After the class, I'll share with everyone. Okay. So this is the HTML page I opened. This is open in Firefox. Again, I'm saying I opened this HTML page in Firefox. I think I helped a few people to install Firebug and Firepath in their laptops. Okay. I think everybody might be knowing that by this time. Firebug, Firepath. These two things are the plugins of the Firefox browser. Okay. So, once we access this login page, the, the application name is, the HTML page is loginpage.html. Once we access this page in Firefox, we have to open this file in Firefox. Okay, how do you open? Go to the folder where you downloaded HTML for examples, right click on loginpage.html, then open with Firefox. When you say open with Firefox, what happens? This opens the HTML page in Firefox. Now this is not the link, this is the HTML examples which I have shared with everyone. The zip folder, please extract the zip folder and try to right click on the login page dot HTML okay and open with Firefox browser. Anyway I'll show you. Basically it is in the folder. I think uh, I'll share with everyone if you don't get it once after this class is done. So usually you'll be having HTML examples like this. Okay, what you have to do? Login page. See login page I'm selecting. Select the login page. Right click. Save open with say Firefox. So this is how you have to open login page. These examples are self-written by me. I'll send all these HTML files to everyone so you can use these same things for our example. So for practice sessions. Okay, again I'm saying I'll, go to this folder HTML folder wherever you downloaded just right click on login page say open with say Firefox I'm opening Firefox see click on this so it opens in Firefox fine so what is object to I have a text case where to enter the text in the text box say username say password to click on the button called login button that's a test case that's a manual test case written so I want to automate the same test case in selenium that is object to so first what I have to do, I have to identify elements using locator called ID. So if you want to identify elements using locator called ID, first what I have to do is, first we have to enable firebug. See here, the rule is what? First enable firebug. Click on this. When I click on this, it shows a pop-up here down. It contains lot of tabs. These are tabs, lot of tabs. These are lot of tabs. So how do you open this? Select this, it will minimize. Again select it, it will maximize. So like this. Okay. So, once it is done, what we have to do now? See here, what I am trying to do, see here now? I go to HTML page. Okay. I go to HTML page. Okay. I place a mouse pointer on the inspect element means like this is the arrow button click on this arrow button just click only click once click once place a mouse pointer on this text box because this is a text box where I am going to enter the text so before I go and enter the text first I have to see the what is the HTML code for this text box what is the HTML code for this text box can anybody please type it in the chart window? What is the ID of this text box? Uh, 